this week we're up on the Petenwell Flowage, and you know the Petenwell Flowage is the second largest inland lake in the state. It's a great body of water, and it's gone through, just like all bodies of water, a lot of different cycles. And right now, as far as catching big fish, it's the place to be. There's been a lot of fish caught because of the slot. They put a slot on this system a while ago, and it took quite a while for it to take effect but now you're starting to see the results of it. And I've always been a firm believer in slots. Almost any body of water that you fish that has a slot on it is a tremendous fishery. So we'll see what happens today. I've got my good friend, Mark Bray. Let's catch some fish today. I got my daughter, Lucy, which she better catch some fish today. Lucky Lucy, I hope we're calling her at the end of the day here. So let's, uh, we're gonna be doing some jigging. We're gonna be doing some rigging. Let's see what happens. Nice job, Lucy. Keep fighting. What do you got? Oh, you go. There you go. Oh, a little too small, though. You know, that's the nice thing about the Pete and Well flowage is it's got that slot on there. So you can actually, great place to come out and bring kids and catch a lot of numbers of fish. Nice little walleye. Did you see that fish? Boom! <laughs> oh god. Yeah. There you go. Nice job, man. Oh, and it's a oh, monster too. Oh, the one oh, I just counts. Had. Counts. No, didn't get in the boat. <laughs> it hit the boat. It hit the boat, but didn't get in the boat. Here we go, you guys. I'm gonna get on the board now. Nothing real big, just a small walleye. You know. Ooh, again, got my other line too. You know, again. That's the nice part about a body of water like this. So you can come out here and catch a lot of numbers of, of walleyes, you know, because it's got a slot on it, you know? And that's one thing I really enjoy. And for some reason, leaving on like on the Winnebago system, that fish legally you could keep and it's only maybe 10 inches. You know, it's nice to protect these fish so you have a future. That's a big fish. That's that big sucker, yeah. Here we go. What? Hey, Mark, you want to grab the nut? Oh, he took me right into a tree. I lost him. That, that was a big fish. He's got her. Mark grabbed it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Here we go. Ooh, nice fish. There we go. You know, I just put down this big sucker on here. Right here, look at how mowed up. I had a really big fish before on it. And I just put this one down and what I did, I kept getting snagged. And this fish is not big, big, but it's very, very nice fish. I mean, it's about 18, 19 inches. And we're in all this timber here. And you know, that's the key about fishing a body of water like this is a lot of structure. And what we're doing is we're basically working the edge of the river channels. And we're anywhere where you have a real sharp turn, there's usually a lot of timber down there. And we're just working anywhere. We're going up to about eight foot and coming back down to about 16. And you can actually mark these fish on the edges, but that's a nice fish. Boy, he just absolutely walloped it. Rod tip up. Let's see what you got, girl. I think it's too small for the net. Yeah. Especially because it's not mine. Oh, nice crappie. Oh, get him in. Let him, let him, no, get him in. Uh, over the top of the boat. Oh, yes. Nice fish. You know, that's the great part about fishing a body of water like this. You know, we just caught three or four walleyes in a row. We missed a real big walleye. And now she pulls up a nice crappie. That is absolutely awesome. You know, and all these flowages here, Pete and Well, Castle Rock, all this part of the Wisconsin River system, 
are tremendous fisheries, again, because of the slop, but in also great crappie and white bass, great musky fishing. They're just really productive bodies of water to come and spend the day on. There you go. Keep going. There, nice fish. Keep going. All right. You're on your own. Ooh, there you go. Hold them up. All right, come around to the camera. There you go. Nice job. She's got the hot hand so far, you know, and that's typical that Lady Luck prevails Three. in this boat. She's taking us to the woodshed. Yes, she is. That's okay. Her eyes are You can creepy. always put a little gas on her line. Here, Dad, you can take it off. I don't want to take, take off walleyes. What's up, Larry? Just picked it up, Mark. You know, again, this is these big fish here. I'm just letting them. I'm just letting them grab onto it and suck it in. You know, before I kept getting snagged up, so what I did is I put one of them weedless jigs on there, a lighter one, just enough to get that sucker down to the bottom. And I've been able to pull that sucker through the pretty thick timber right here. And I'm just basically just letting them hold on to it. Pull them up. Oh, yeah, we had a good show. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen fish what that's like. Fish heads. <laughs> oh, I would have loved to have seen. He grabbed it just perfect. Wow. I don't know. Oh. You know, before I had, I was just using a Lindy rig and a plain hook, and I kept getting snagged going through the timber. So, what I did is that I just took the same weedless jig that I'm using and left all the bristles on there that I'm using with my night crawler. And basically, I'm just taking these suckers, hooking them through the nose. I got 12 pound test on here, like that. And what I'm doing is I'm dropping them down. I'm working between about nine and, and 16 foot now. And I'm just letting out a bunch of line and I'm just leaving the bail open. And when they start pulling out line, I stop, I'm kind of using my Trova and I'm just working up and down the brakes here until we mark a bunch and then I hit the spot lock and just sit right on top of them fish, which is with that Trova, with that spot lock is absolutely key because then I can just sit there and concentrate on jigging them and using my dead stick here. And most of these big fish right now have been coming off of that sucker. So it's working out perfect just to hover right on top of them. That's next year's fish. See, that's awesome. There you go, Larry. What do you got? You got, you got a light? <laughs> Next year's. <laughs> Maybe three years from now, Mark. All right, then. Fish? fish. Mm -hmm. Another fish? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, somebody yeah. cut her line. That's it. Stop. Oh. It's... Oh, you got to turn towards the camera always. I need some of that pink line, Larry. I know. It's it. There pink. you go, another one. It's the pink rod. The, oh, that's what it is? What is going on here? This is BS. Lucy. Whoa, now you're done. Oh, oh you're all done thank now. Thank you so much for you're right. catching that for me. That's right. Now thank you. Yep. She's done. She finally's got the rough fish. You want to give him a kiss? No. I'll yeah. pet him though. You pet him? Yeah. His scales. All right, let him go. Goodbye. Here we go. I got something. Trying to catch up to Lucy here. Hopefully it's. Whoa. Actually, you know what? That's a pretty decent fish right there. That's probably, you know, 15, 16 inches. You know, again, we're fishing up on the Pete Wall Flowage, and this is the second largest inland lake in the state. And, uh, you know, again, I can't emphasize enough, it's got a slot limit on it. So at least you're protecting these fish so they have a chance to grow up. And you know what? And you always have a chance to catch a trophy up here. The, you can only keep fish between 15 and 20 inches or one over 28. It's got a five fish limit on it. So it's again, the Pete and Well Flowage part of the Wisconsin River system. And all we're doing is basically, you know what, I kept getting snagged up and getting snagged up. So what I did is I went to a weedless jig and we talked about these last week a little bit on our show is that when you're constantly fishing this heavy timber, it's so much easier because these fish are buried right into the timber is to, to, to get the weedless jigs out so you can constantly work your way through it and you're not tying up every couple minutes. And again, I like the ones with the bristles. These jigs have eight bristles on them. I took off half of them and it allows you when you got, otherwise it's a little bit too stiff. So when you take off half of them, you can still make it through most of, most of the timber down there. And when you set the hook, you, you got a good hook, hook up with them. So there we go, perfect. Is it another? 
Uh, it's feeling a little sheepy to me. No, oh, oh, look, look at that. that. Yeah, so I had it. <laughs> no net. That's uh, not fitting that slot thing, huh, Larry? That's right. Well, she's a beaut, though. That's all, they're all fun to catch. That's what I love about the fishery like this. Yeah. It is a fish on that sucker, Mark. Grab that net. Oh, he's there. Here we go, you guys. Oh, it feels good, Mark. It's a big fish, nice fish. Nice one. Oh, nice fish. In a mark. Nice job. Hey, save the sucker. Save the sucker. <laughs> I cannot speak enough about a body of water like this having a slot on it where you can consistently come out and catch these big fish, too. Yep, don't throw that back. We need that. I got him. Isn't that awesome? That's what I'm saying. You know what? You need to protect the fish. If we could do that on the Winnebago system, I can't preach it enough. We'd have a world-class fishery right there. Just got to get our biologists to get out of the office, get out and do some work. Hey, 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 what do you got, Blues? Looks pretty small. Well, it might be, maybe it's a big crappie. It's a nice walleye. Very nice walleye. See, you're back in action. Hold them up to the camera so we can see them. Hold them right up. Can't hold them like that. Show, like this? Show there you go. <laughs> yeah, hold them just like that. <laughs> oh, I want the slow foot, slow slow yeah, foot. Yeah, hold them that. just like that. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> you got her three times. You know what that's called? It's called being whacked by a walleye. Ooh, is it nettable? No. Ooh, that's a nice one. Get him in. Get him in. Use your rod tip. There you go. That's a nice fish. What are that's you talking crazy. about? Really nice fish. That one might even be bigger. That might be 15 inches. So you hold it on the sides? The only thing you have to, that's perfect. The only thing when you're holding on the wall you have to worry about is the gill plate right here. That's like a razor. But this is super sharp, the inside gill raker right here. That's what you have to worry about. If you hold on them the way you're holding them, hold them tight, you're good. Definitely do not stick your fingers in his mouth. Good one, Luce. There we go. All right, Marky, that's Flip another Flip nice in. fish right there. That's all right. I love catching walleyes. I love catching a good anything. system, Larry. Oh, here we go. Boy, I tell you, that wind picked up and the fishing picked up too. Again, a lot of small ones. But they're all, again, I can't emphasize enough. I love to catch fish. So. It's nice coming to a system where I know there always is plenty of fish. And that's, again, I can't say it enough over and over. You get sick of me saying it. A slot. If we could have a slot on the Winnebago system, it would be a world-class fishery instead of just a good fishery. Mark, Mark Ray, what you got? Come on, Mark. You feel like a little better fish. It does, huh? Better not be a sheep. Ooh, that's a nice one. That is a good fish. My friend, hold that one That's up. All right. That's definitely a good fish. Probably 16 incher. Gotta like that. You know, I've always said about this bite up here, even though the water has gotten a little, little clearer than it was years ago, uh, probably because of the zebra mussels have made their way into this system too. And I don't actually think it's too bad of a thing, but this is more of a banker's bite. I've always said, you know, nine to five is usually the best time frame up here. And sunny days, usually you catch a lot more fish, than, you know, high pressure sun, kind of the opposite of most bodies of water. But it's a, definitely a structure-oriented body of water as far as timber, lots of timber, 
lots of different channels uh, running in and out of here. Again, the Wisconsin River system runs through this body of water. And basically what we're doing is, again, just using our Minn Kota and going back and forth. And then when we mark quite a few fish, we'll hit the spot lock and sit there and just hover right on them, on them fish. And most of the time, when you're looking at your Lake Master chip, you can tell that it's usually a, a cut in the channel or a bend in the channel or a jog that comes out or in is where them fish are usually laying. Think of the pressure that's holding that this water back. Think if that opened up right now. You know, I've always said the key to this fish in this system here is I always like the sun for one thing. The other thing is that to make sure you don't get stuck on one particular depth, you know, and just keep working that water column. Um, before we were going between about seven and 14, 15 feet. Now we're going between seven and about 26 feet. The fish are dropping down a little bit deeper. And they're not as, as active, but uh, you just hover on them and, and work them a little bit slower. But again, the nice part is that, you know, these brakes are so sharp too that you can come over them brakes and you can see them fish right on the edges all the time. So if, you're not, if this is one of them bodies of water versus Winnebago, when I'm fishing rocks and weeds out there, you pretty much have to fish the spots to know that there's anything there. Here, I just drive around until I mark them and then I fish them. So that's the big difference between this body of water and, and Winnebago. There we go, <laughs> yeah! Right. You know, I, one thing I love about these flowages is that it's walleye, 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 and more walleyes. And once in a while, a crappie and a lot of white bass. Nice fish, nothing huge, just a nice walleye. Back in the old drink. Boy, look at the algae in that water. It's amazing how green these flowages get. Flip. Flip. Oh yeah, that's a decent fish. Yeah. All right, nice There's fish. Wrong with that, huh? Good job. You want, Lucy, do you want to get smacked by this one too, or no? <laughs> no, no, thank you. you. You've got enough sense in you at this point. You don't need no more smacking, huh? Because <laughs> I, I, I don't want to tell you, I didn't walleye. mind that show at all. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Job, I don't think Mark. that's going to be a keeper. I don't think that's going to be one we. Well, it's pretty close. We can measure them up. Hold it tight. Want. You yep. don't want to get slapped like me. I'm going to call that 14 and 3 quarters. Well, let's call them, let them go. You want to let them go back on your side? Here we go. Bye, fishy. And away he goes. You know, one thing I can't understand is that uh, why they keep making these, these holes in, in this jig. There we go. In them jigs smaller and smaller. Maybe it's got to do something with that 5 0 mark that I hit. I think it's the jig, it's not my eyes. Oh, here we go, you guys. <laughs> oh, little Wally. Hey, it's a fish. Just a small one. Again, it's nice to see all these different year classes of walleyes on a system like this. And again, over and over, I can't stress it enough. It's nice to see something that's protected, too. Keeps a good fishery. I, I felt it hit. Oh, the, yeah. Wow, you got, you're very sensitive if you felt that hit. That's pretty good. I did. I was just sitting not, here. Yeah, not anybody you felt can my catch line that. Or something that you got me all wrapped up. Special set of skills. Jeez. Hold them up high like you yeah. did that last time. Hold one. them all to the camera. No, I don't want Hold to them all to the camera. No, not by your face. No. Get that thing off there so I can get my line back in the water. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice fish, Mark. You got a nut? Mark. I don't know what it is. Oh God, here, Might Larry. be a, maybe it's a cat or something. I don't know. If it's a walleye, it's gonna be something decent. Boy, I mean he just he kind of picked it up like a walleye. Ooh, oh, nice. Walleye. Oh, Mark, Mark, don't sorry. miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Ah. That's Whoa. what we like to ah. see, you guys. Ah. I'll tell you, you know what? Again, when you're fishing a body, Ooh, that man. was on just a jig and a crawler. And when you're fishing a body of water like the Pete and Will Flowage that has a slot limit on it, you have every day you have opportunities to catch walleyes that are like that. That's what I'm talking about right there. You know what? 
That's what puts a smile on my face. It puts a smile on kids' face. It puts a smile on anybody's face. You know what? The greatest part about catching a fish like that is releasing a fish like that. I'm telling you, this is an up and coming body of water that you're going to want to fish. To catch big fish, lots of fish, and just have a lot of fun. Persistence pays. <laughs> Always. Hey you guys, thanks. We had an awesome day with my friend Mark Bray up on the Pete Mill Flowage and my daughter Lucy Marie. I definitely had the hot hand today, which is very rare. You might have caught more numbers, you might have caught more small fish, but somehow the big guy upstairs was watching and I got the big fish today, which you know that's the way it goes. Hey, we had a great day up on Pete and Well. I hope you guys enjoy our show. Follow us on Facebook and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, just remember, the biggest thing, it's a great day to be alive. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I'll drink to that. Cheers! Take us in, Lucy. Let's do it.